Welcome to Too Much Who, Hoover High School's morning news broadcast. Coming to you from our brand new studio in Room 70, with all the school, sports, and club information that you need to start your day. It's TMH. Good morning, Pates. My name is Aaron. And I'm Jacob. And we're here to catch you up on the latest and greatest at the Hoove. It's our second week of our Charlie Brown Christmas countdown, and hopefully you're rocking your PJs for our PJ Day Part 2. Tomorrow's dress-up day is sweater weather. Grab your festive sweater or your favorite hoodie and rock the day with us. Join us at lunch today for cookie decorating. Freshmen, come out to the cafeteria after school for a freshman-only event. There will be hot chocolate, treats, studying, and more. We hope to see you there. Attention Pates, winter is here. Get into the spirit of the season and buy a wintergram for your friends for $1. Stop by in front of the library during lunch throughout the rest of the week to purchase your wintergram. The 2024-2025 yearbook is now on sale. Don't miss out on the early bird discounted price. Prices will increase on Friday, December 20. Pre-purchase your yearbook today. Visit www.hooveryearbook.com to place your order. Seniors, if you have not yet taken your senior portrait at Ficara Studios, please book your session ASAP. Deadline to take senior portraits is January 10th. Call Ficara Studios at 559-266-0624 to schedule your session. Seniors, order your class of 2025 hoodie today. Sales will take place outside the student store at lunch this week. Prices will go up the week we return from break, so don't miss out on custom apparel. Visit, visit the class of 2025 Instagram's page for details on the hoodies. Seniors, grad night signups will begin when we get back from Christmas break in January. Permission slips will be ready for pickup next Friday in the music building, front office, and the library. Start preparing for your time of your life. We will be going to Universal Studios May 22nd to May 23rd. All girls interested in joining the Hoover Girls Badminton team, please join Coach Robinson and Coach Rodriguez for an informational re meeting today at lunch in Gym 3. No experience is necessary. Freshmen are encouraged to join the fun. Attention, all interested in softball. You must see Coach Bustos in room 51 to sign up for the upcoming season. Even if you are playing another sport, we will begin January 13th. You must have a physical and family ID completed before coming out. Attention to all of those interested in playing baseball. Prior to winter break, you must see June, Coach Jones in room 77 to get trial information and sign up. Even if you're currently in another sport, you must see Coach Jones prior to Christmas if you're going to try out. Trials are January 14th. Attention, Asian Club members, there will be no club meeting tomorrow on Tuesday, or tomorrow, Tuesday, December 17th at lunch, but we will be having hot chocolate and board games on Thursday right after school. So bring your favorite board games to play on Thursday. GSA, Gender and Sexuality Alliances, meet every Wednesday in room 53 at lunch. Grab lunch, invite a friend, new members are always welcome. If you are interested in a Bible study club, join the Bread of Life Club on Wednesdays at lunch in room 5 for pizza and fellowship. New members are always welcome. Come join Crochet Club. We meet every Tuesday at lunch in room 6. All levels are welcome to join. Baking and Cooking Club is meeting on Mondays and Tuesdays in room 82 at lunch. Please come and join us. Team H again was chatting with some pates. Let's take a look. Change one thing in the past. What would you change? What I would change in the past is my football injury. You know, it really took a toll on me, and yeah, it made me the person who I am today. If I could go back to the past, um, I'd probably change also an injury. Like years ago, I broke my arm. Kind of messed me up. Change one thing in the past. What would it be? Uh. I would try to, if you go back to the past, what would you do and what would you change? Uh, I would tell my family to invest in Google. I would try to, what would you change? Um, you know Paul Walker, he dies, so like, uh, I would go back in time. Before he got in that car, I would like pop his tires so like he didn't go anywhere. And like. I would like stop him from dying and stuff. Yeah. Pass. What would you change? Nothing. To the past, what would you change? Mm. Going to the restroom right now and coming to this interview. Taking too much of my time. 
you were to go back to the past, what would you change? There's a lot of things that you can change, but then if you change the past, you never know what effect that's going to have in the future. So honestly, um, maybe if I wanted to go back to the past, I would not change something. I would more like buy a lottery ticket that is worth like a hundred billion and not have to work again. Yeah. How do you define love? I would define love as unconditional sacrifice for others. How would you define love? Mm, good question. I define it by like something you like or enjoy and what else? I don't know. Love is just love. I think that's it. How do you define love? Well, I think love is when you are putting others, uh, the people that you love, their needs ahead of yours so that uh, you want to make them happy and make sure that they're taken care of. Thanks for tuning in, Pates. You all makes Hoover great, so remember to participate. participate.